welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name's Crystal and today we're going to be going through the top five makeup brands that I think that you should invest your money in, be it that you are a makeup artist or somebody who just is passionate about makeup and wants to invest in some new things to experiment with and try it on yourself. So today I'm going to go through brands that are quite well known, things that I have worked with over the years and things that are making up the majority of my kit. So I am currently functioning as a professional makeup artist. I've nearly finished my qualification at the Academy of Makeup in Melbourne and I have had a bit of a chance to see what works for different skin types what doesn't and what is the best way to invest your money into your kit and into your makeup products that will give you the best return in terms of what they can do for your clients and what they can do for you so before we get into the video do not forget to add me on my social media platforms i will have my instagram handles on the screen for you guys to check out and i will also have them in the description box below for you guys for your convenience um i have recently done a chit chat get ready with me video on the look that i currently have on my eyes right now super basic golden neutral it can be used for brides it could be used for every day it will suit a large array of different skin types and eye shapes so definitely go and check that out i will also have that linked in the description box below and up in the cards for you guys but without further ado let's just get straight into the video so the first brand that i definitely want to recommend is anastasia beverly hills they have a large array of products that are super reliable i particularly love their brow products and their eyeshadows they're quite well known for both of those things their foundation is kind of a bit of a hit and miss for me i do have one in my kit at the moment but it would have to be a specific skin type to use that particular foundation on because I feel like it can really oil up quite quickly. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend that out of the array of products that Anastasia can offer to you guys, but I definitely 100% recommend the eyeshadows. So I just have one sitting here. So this one is just sultry. This one is more of a cool toned kind of eyeshadow palette. I've had Modern Renaissance, which is... Unfortunately, no longer with me. I accidentally smashed it. I dropped the palette and broke it. I just never got around to repurchasing it. I have the Amrezy palette. I have the Soft Glam and I have the Sultry, as you guys can see. So I have quite a few. I also love their brow products. They're so reliable. I love their brow powder and their dip brow pomade. They're fantastic. And also the eyebrow brush. The spoolie on that is fantastic. And also the way that the bristles on that particular brush come in together and point. I think I have it here actually. Here, this is a brush that I'm actually talking about. So it is the 7B. This one's been used, it's a bit dirty, but there's a spoolie on one end and there's this amazing point at the other end. It's so sharp, it actually has fluff on it, soz. But it has this incredible point on it and it is like really inflexible, so it's quite dense, which I love. It's really, really good for the brows and getting a sharp point on the end of the brow if you're looking for that whole inst brow kind of look. But it's also really, really good for eyeliner. So I actually have a couple of these. I have one that I use on myself for the everyday, but then I also have two that sit in my kit. One of them I use for brows, and then I can use the second one for brows if I'm doing a lot of clients that particular day. But I do also use it for eyeliner because it's so precise, especially for wings. I think they're fantastic. They're definitely a brand to consider if you're looking to get into high-end makeup that is reliable, price point's a little like high well not really it's not kind of a pat mcgrath kind of high but it's definitely not looking at your kind of mario badescu kind of price range i know it's a skincare brand but it's in the high-end stores and it's like relatively cheap per se the next brand that i would definitely have to recommend is huda beauty oh my gosh i love her eyeshadows i think they're fantastic so i have two palettes here to show you guys with me i have the huda beauty mercury retrograde which is her more newer one and then i also have the desert dusk palette i also have her new nudes palette and i also have one of her quads so i'm going to be going through my eyeshadow palettes relatively soon and ranking them all from best to worst so definitely keep an eye out for that video that should be up possibly after this one but i am yet to film it <laughs> um but huda beauty is definitely in my top range i love this kind of style she's gone for with like her eyes and stuff like that she has that consistently with a bunch of her products like her lashes as well her lashes are phenomenal i've had a pair of samantha lashes i think that's the number seven by her literally i think i've worn them about 20 times and they're not breaking apart they're still usable they're absolutely fantastic such high quality so easy to apply and i struggle like 
mad with lashes. I don't know what it is. I just don't like wearing them. They're super uncomfortable on me. And so I just avoid putting them on all together. So I mean like today, I don't have any lashes on today and that's fine. But I mean, if I am going to go for a lash, the Samantha number no. seven lash by Huda Beauty, they're expensive. I get it. I think they're like $30 a pack, but they are phenomenal if that's something that you're looking for if you're going to spoil yourself to some new lashes for your wedding or for uh, a dead ball or something like that definitely look into those ones her foundations are also quite fantastic i do love them her setting spray it's a good setting spray you've just got to be ready for the smell you're basically putting perfume on your body and it stays with you as a setting spray it's fantastic like it will set your makeup down it will not move but you have to get over the potent smell and that can be a bit much for people i think it's rose a lot of her products have that particular scent um i know her foundation has that scent as well so it's kind of something if you don't like it you're not going to like her range but it's definitely a fantastic brand for the quality of the product that you get yeah some stuff is a bit of a miss like this is the inside of the desert dusk palette i know that some people didn't like this palette for some reason but i mean what works for one person doesn't always work for everybody her lipsticks i'm wearing anniversary on my lips from her right now her um, soft mattes i think that's what they're called beautiful definitely worth the investment i love them as a brand for that so the next brand that i want to talk about as a brand that's definitely worth your investment if you're looking to expand your makeup kit or level up in your personal makeup is hourglass so um i feel like hourglass is super high end so some people kind of avoid it for that reason but i do find that they have products that are quite fantastic and ones that I don't know, you have to have the right skin type for them. And I think because I'm an oily combo skin girl, not necessarily everything works as well as people might say it does. But if you have a dry skin type, everything is basically fantastic. So I love their scattered light pots. Although I'm oily, my eyelids aren't oily. So that particular product does work for me. If you are a oily, oily girl, like you are like greaseball by the end of the day, that product will probably break up on your eyelids. I have heard Nikita Joy or nakia joy i can't remember how you say her name but i have heard her talk about it and how it breaks up on your eyelids and she has an oily skin type so maybe just be careful with that but i definitely love the ambient lighting powders i like the ambient lighting bronzers and the blushes the foundations i think that they're so beautiful um, i also have used their brow products and their brow products their um stick or their pencil or whatever their crayon whatever you want to call it that is also quite fantastic as well so if you're looking to invest in their powders and liquids i do think that they're great but some stuff for example the veil primer is extremely expensive and for somebody like me it actually makes me more oily and i don't like that so that's not necessarily something that i would put my money into but otherwise i do recommend them as a brand hourglass is definitely in my top five the next brand would have to be mac now i know that it's a bit contentious with mac some people say that mac makes them break out they've been around forever they've been in the game for a really really long time but you cannot fault their shade range they have so much in terms of a shade range to offer it's people that utilize them so for example i just have two foundations here this is nc20 and nw15 this is the studio sculpt this has spf 15 in it um i do think this is a good foundation i don't mind it nc20 is probably more me than anything else but these are two that sit in my kit for more mature aged skin people i just gotta say they just hit the nail on the head in terms of skin tone if you cannot find your shade with mac there's something wrong like they tend to be able to go from the fairest of fair to the deepest of deep and they just cover everything in between like pink undertones neutral undertones yellow undertones olive undertones everything in there mac has it and they have the foundation and they have the perfect powder to match. They have really great blushes. They have really great lipsticks. They have really great bronzers. Um, they have everything you can ever think of. Sometimes it can be overwhelming when you go into a MAC store and there's just so much stuff. I know that even 
I still to this day get quite overwhelmed with how much is in MAC and I just get so confused. I'm like, what am I looking at? And um, that's what I do. I usually find myself a consultant and say, look, I'm looking for this, this and this for my kit. Can you help me out? So, and they love it. They love going, oh, well, I use this on my clients. You should give it a go too because I mean, we're all interested in makeup. Let's look after each other. It's definitely MAC that I would recommend in my top five. A lot of my kit is by MAC because they're just so reliable been in the game forever, you know they're going to deliver and people know who they are. Like it's kind of one of those brands that it doesn't matter what age group you're from, you usually start with MAC when you enter the market. It tends to be where you, it's like the gateway into this world of makeup and beauty and then you do tend to come back to it over time as well. Like I have absolute staples from MAC. I swear by them and they'll never go out of my kit. The last brand that I definitely think is worth the investment and a top five brands to put your money into if you're looking to develop your kit or just wear makeup on the daily is Makeup Forever. So they have released this beautiful velvet skin powder. I think this is so beautiful. This, I cannot, cannot live my life without this powder in it. It just takes my makeup to the next level this controls the oils and it still looks flawless it doesn't cake up it doesn't move it doesn't move the foundation underneath i cannot say enough amazing things about this particular powder but i also can't say enough amazing things about other things in the brand too so their foundations are literally designed for cameras so for videos for photos for all that sort of stuff the technology in it is designed to show up and reflect light and look flawless on the skin it's kind of designed to be a filter per se and work with photography so if that's what you're interested in particularly if you're getting married or if you're somebody who's a makeup artist who's looking to do a lot of weddings you want the right kind of technology per se behind you makeup forever has done the technology for you. Why don't you just invest in something that's already pre-existing that's going to be reliable every single time? Like I've said, these brands today that I've talked about is in no particular order. I mean, I'm not saying them to you as if buy this one, then buy this one, then buy this one. They're all equal in my mind, but Makeup Forever does have that edge in the sense that they are geared towards photography or they are geared towards a looking flawless through a lens and that's the thing that makeup when you see it on a person face to face can look beautiful but if you look at it through a camera it might not be strong enough it might not be sharp enough you sometimes need to go a bit harder with makeup if you're doing it in accordance with a photo and a video versus real life so i quite like the soft look that i've got on my face right now but if i was to take a photo i might look at it and go there's not enough. It needs more. It needs to be more dramatic. It needs to be deeper. It needs to be sharper lines. We need to put more foundation in certain areas to make it flawless. So Makeup Forever does really well with their, I think their eyeshadows are actually really good. I feel like people don't talk about them for some reason. I don't have the eyeshadow palette with me today here, but I do have it in my apartment in Melbourne at the moment. And I have, I can't remember what it's called. I've had it for ages, but the, the formula of the eyeshadows is great. I love their bases, though. I think their concealers, their foundations, and obviously their powders are to die for. I think that they're absolutely amazing. And if you haven't had a chance to try even just this product, give it a go. I use this flat out every day. This is my first one still. Um, I think it's because we've been in ISO, so I haven't really been wearing makeup. But I wear it flat out. Still got a bit in there. This will probably last me a little a little while longer, but not really. I definitely need to be purchasing a backup. Always sold out. I'm pretty sure it's the David Jones store in Melbourne, in on Burke Street in Melbourne. That's where I get mine from. And I bet you now everyone's going to go out and buy it and I'm never going to be able to get it again. But I definitely think that is a brand that you should invest in for either your kit or for your personal makeup wear. So that is everything from me for this video. It's just a quick one for you guys today um, versus my previous videos, which probably were a bit longer. So let me know in the comments below what you guys would like to see next on my channel. I am so keen to be doing lots of filming and editing and producing content for you guys. Do not forget to go and check me out on my Instagram as well. I will have the handles again on the screen for you guys and in the description box below. And I'm pretty sure that's everything from me. So I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks guys. Bye.